Greetings Lamarians and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be making a pixie cut wig and we will jump right in and get started with this shape. You have to measure the circumference of your head. But for this project, we will be using the Remy Velvet 246, the Tara. You see the Tara? Yes. Let's get started. So we've already measured her out and we're about to unveil the packages. The smallest on the top, which is the one we go with first. And let's jump right in. When you're pinning to position the wig, you find the center seam and there's two seams on the side where you anchor it from. So you always have relative points for the head shape. You should also make sure that the front to back ratio matches your head, which correlates to the mannequin size that you get. Some people don't use this part, but I do because I like to use the whole mesh cap. I put one or two pieces on the bottom and I attach a comb under this piece. You measure it out, you pin it in place and you sew it together. But it is the first row of the pixie look, the two inch piece. You always want to sew through the ends two or three times and let that be the only points that you are sewing through the weft because the more you puncture the weft, the heightened the probability of shedding. Also, when stitching a wig, when judging how far to do your spacing, it's determined by your knotting technique. Meaning, if you are knotting every stitch, you can do about a half an inch to an inch stitch pattern, depending on how lazy you feel like being. But if you're not knotting, you need to do a fourth of an inch to an eighth of an inch of space between each stitch. And make sure you double and triple knot the ends going through the weft only on the ends. All right, tie that in down, ew, and the first one is down, ew, ew. For my beginners, pinning the track in place may make it a little more efficient for you. But um, for my more than beginners, let's take these pins out, y'all. Skin on my nerves. My one trick to making a wig is getting in a groove. Find your groove and you'll get to the move because a wig should not take you all day, 24 hours to do. Some people ask me why I use Remy 246. Well, it's because I prefer to be able to cut the nape how I want. I don't prefer that boxy, boxed up, extra super edged, MC wiggy fresh look. That's just my preference. Moving right along. Now that we are getting closer to the crown area, you want to keep in mind that the perfect pixie cut always has balance. We have now started on the four inch segment of the 246 package, still keeping our horseshoe shape. If you look at your mesh dome cap, you'll see that there are perimeter barriers that are kind of like a lace detail those are kind of marker or guidelines as to how high to go with the horizontal rows i call them my horseshoes you will continue this process two rounds more maybe three remembering that the very top crown is where the closure is going to go and your spindle to create that natural symmetry of a cowlick in the top. As you see, we've gotten to that point and now we're stitching through the very edge of the cap so that we are making sure that if the wind blows, nobody's seeing our edges. Again, as you notice, you see me sewing through the mesh, not the weft. You do that continually until you get to the crown as you see right now. We're placing the 
closure piece. You just trim that extra little net around it. You get to your spiral. You sew your closure down. You cut it and you style it. That's it. It is what it is. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It is a quintessential part to make sure that every stitch for your closure is notched. Make sure that they are one quarter to one eighth of an inch apart. That way your closure is flush and it doesn't stand up inappropriately. Like you see those people with those bad wigs on with that circle piece standing up in the top. No, it need to be blended down. Another quick tip in styling. Once we get done, you don't want to put any wet products on this hair if you don't want to have to add heat to it. You can wake up every day and just finger it without putting heat to it unless you put some other product other than finishing. Finishing products are like spritz, oil sheen, stuff like that. Don't put setting stuff like gels and foams unless you want to have to curl this hair. And curling it can be cute. It can add a different style, but not necessary. And now that you have securely fastened your closure, you're going to go back in and... Trim away all the excess strings. Make sure everything is double knotted. After which you will go back in with another track flush to the closure to perfectly conceal it, giving you a natural simulation of a cowlick. Everyone knows the crown or the cowlick of the shortcut is the work of the shortcut. It could make it or break it. After that's done, you cut it down and shape it to your liking, and you have your custom pixie creation. Follow my Instagram page to find the final look. And if you would like your own custom unit created, I'll leave all the info in the description. Make sure you subscribe and like this video, share it to your friends, and get your own wig created. <laughs> I'm here for it. And until next time, I love you for watching and I'll holla.